All right, well, earlier we saw the power of big country's right hand, a force that has dropped many heavyweights, and that's going to bring us to our top five for the week. It is the top five most powerful strikes landed, and we want to thank Anthony for the suggestion for our top five this week. All right, without further ado, take it away. Kenny, you're up first. Jen, you want my top five? I'm going to give you my top five. Number five, this one was brutal. My former Ultimate Fighter one castmate, Nate Corey, getting put to sleep by Rich Franklin, just a brutal left hand that uh, stiffed him up pretty bad. It was hard to watch, man, there he is stiff. Rich Franklin, what are you doing? Be nice, come on. All right, number four, this was another brutal one, guys. Um, you know, Johnny Hendricks against John Fitch. I mean, this was kind of the, the fight where everyone goes, whoa, Johnny Hendricks has knockout power. It came out of nowhere, it came so quick. Another gigantic left hand, this time, in the form of Johnny Hendricks' fist. And at number three, this one was nuts, guys. On the uppercut, he actually lifts Keith Jardine up in the air a couple times. It was a right hook. Now look at that. He lifts him up off his feet, off his toes. It was a brutal shot. Houston Alexander didn't have a long career in the UFC, but he had nasty power. Now at number two, Dan Henderson against our guy, Michael Bisping. Sorry, Mike. Oh, my. And then this other one, it was two. I think these were two of the nastiest strikes thrown in the same fight. And I asked Dan Henderson after this fight, to go, hey, was your forearm okay after hitting Mike? And he didn't know that I was joking. But he was like, oh, yeah, my forearm's fine. <laughs> Number one, Rashad Evans against Chuck Liddell. You can actually see me in the stands. My jaw dropped along with Chuck Liddell's. This shot was brutal. Oh. It was maybe, I don't think Rashad Evans has ever thrown a punch this hard on the pad, let alone in a real fight. It landed with everything he had, and uh, down went the legend Chuck Liddell. What a shot. That's a good list. Those are I thought it was a pretty good those list. Those are tough to watch, though, you guys. Yeah, it was oh, brutal. It's so tough. Yeah. All right, but those TJ. are kind of the best ones. Yeah. There's yeah. just so many to pick from, too. I yeah. know. I mean, we had a couple. We had a couple of the same. We'll see. Okay, cool. So, uh... My number five, we'll start off with uh, Gonzaga versus Crow Cop. Oh. You know, this is where everyone thinks uh, com coming out, Crow Cop's going to kick Gonzaga's head off, right? Yeah. He turns the tables around, kicks him in the head. He knocked out. Watch the way he falls, too. It, like, turns his ankle, oh, and his knee ankle. all the way around. Mm. That like, was a good one. How can I forget about this one? Yeah. That was good. Oof. Like, that's just painful uh, to watch. Uh, you know? uh, These are just all the strikes that I'll remember. You know, I yeah. always remember that. I didn't have to even go up and look my list up. I just knew which ones I was picking. Next, oh. Anderson Silva versus Vitor. You know, just an epic strike. You know, I mean, it was on the cover of the UFC magazines. It was everywhere, went worldwide. Just hadn't even seen a, a kick like that land yet. Everyone and, tried it after yeah. that. <laughs> Everyone's still trying yeah. it to this day, you know. And so that, that's one that I'll always remember as well. And then I'm, I'm, I'm with you with Rashad Evans versus Chuck Liddell. Yep. It was just perfect timing on the oh. button. Like you said, he's never thrown a harder punch in his life. And <laughs> it just, you can you can tell, just stiffened him. Yeah. Um, Barbosa versus Edom. Oh, man. Man. Yes. Oh. That's maybe my favorite knockout of all time. It, it, it's got to be. Mean, I mean, it's Especially insane. it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. He's so quick. You know, he, so he's okay. got some some crazy spinning kicks oh. to hit on the button. You know. Wow. Amazing, amazing. And then Dan Henderson versus Bisbee. You know, not only was this a ridiculous knockout, <laughs> but just the fact of all the hype in this fight, all the trash talk, everything that went into it, and for yeah. Dan to end it this way, you know, Bisbing was like such a jerk to him to the whole season, and then right. for him to shut his mouth like that, it was, it was just perfect. You know? Brutal. Yeah. Good list, guys. Brutal Good list. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but coming up next is our social media segment. Rapid fire. You guys send in your questions to at UFC underscore now and hashtag UFC now. And TJ and Ken Flo are going to answer them next. Stick around. See if your question got selected. We'll be right back.